Hey guys, my name is Sediac and welcome to a brand new series of Transport Fever 2 where we are creating a transportation company in Australia. Now you can see right now, I am currently hovering over Melbourne. The game is currently paused because I don't want to reveal too much right now, but we are basically going to be creating the biggest transportation company in the whole of Australia, which includes passengers and cargo. Now, what's going to make this series really, really exciting and very, very interesting right now is the sheer size of this map. I'm recently coming off the back right now of completing the transportation company in the United Kingdom. It was a small island, not much you can do right now. Now we're going to the complete polar opposite. Technically the biggest island in the world, if that's hate by country, I don't know what the logistics are, but this is a huge map. Here is Melbourne, and this is how much you can see <laughs> just from this little section right now. Now, let's take a look at the map then before we start this. It's a mega map, one of the biggest maps that you can kind of utilize or kind of uh, create within Transport Fever 2. It's probably bigger than my USA series that I did. And uh, I just want to say right now, boys, before we do explore and see what's going on and figure out a plan of how I can build a transportation company, I just want to say, smash a like button if you are hyped, excited, cannot wait for this episode and more to come please smash that like button down below and if you're not subscribed right now please do so don't rely on the recommended tab to give you episode two three four five subscribe right now so you get notified as soon as they do drop now we have tasmania down here with a bit a little bit of devonport and uh, hobart right now uh here is melbourne you go all the way up to the uh, east coast you got the capital of uh, camp canberra i'm pr i promise you i will not do an australian accent uh we've got sydney over here which look how crazy sydney looks by the way it's surrounded by these big mountains i don't know if it's like this in real life but this map is absolutely crazy going up right now to brisbane all the way to the north point right now where we have the rocky point uh bamagaf how you pronounce it i do apologize for getting his names completely wrong right now we got darwin over here too going all the way now down to the west coast uh keeping down to the kind of edges we've got all the way down to perth right now and going there's albany at the bottom we've got where is it where is it port lincoln adelaide back down to melbourne right now and we've even got including in the middle all the random towns and then we got alice springs we got mount isa city right now there is scarce scarcity i can't even say the word it's very scarce in the center now apparently only two percent of the population live in the center of australia which is going to make it very very difficult for us to build a transportation um, system for passengers so my my public lines are gonna heavily rely on being around the coastal parts which is interesting but it does mean if we implement trains we get to build some high-speed railways that's exciting but the big selling point about this and you'll probably notice right now with all the industry there's a lot of ore there's a lot of coal right now there's a lot of stone died around because australia has a really really big mining industry so our bread and butter the thing that's going to pay the bills right now is building a cargo transportation system and really really building up those industries we are going to have to kind of work really hard right now on the cargo side to make us money passengers not going to really make us that much cash there's not really that many people to transport and the places are really really wide cargo is where it's all gonna lie and this is really exciting. There's not much going on in the middle, but there's plenty of space to build some crazy lines and some crazy setups. So, what is going to happen? What do we now need to do? Well, we have two million in the bank. If I go to my money right now, ignore the fact that I've somehow spent 262 million. Uh, let me just put it this way. That's how, we how much it costs to kind of create this map. <laughs> so don't get it twisted, boys. Now, for those asking about this map, I did get it from the Steam Workshop, but there was nothing on the map. I've had to add everything to it myself. So, yes, this is going to be very interesting. The 2 million comes in the form of a bank loan right now, and the year is 1850. Which means all I'm going to have currently available right now is horse and cart. This is going to be difficult. 
Now, I'm going to tell you this right now from, from the get-go before we do start. The biggest issue we're going to see in this series is money. Only until we got some good money makers set up. The map's so big, it's going to cost us an absolute fortune to get stuff from A to B, but it will make us so much money as well. We've got no room. We can't, we can't take no prisoners, boys. We've got no room for errors right now. No room for errors. So, let's start then by making some money. So, I'm looking down here right now. I think we're going to start with food to begin with. We have a nice little food plant here. There's a couple of farms dotted around. But we have Portland. We have uh, Mildura. We have Adelaide. Uh, these three little town cities that do need food as one of their kind of um, products. The best way to pull it. And that's all within the radius. But at the same time, I also have the option over here on the east coast. Uh, there's food over here, which the cities that require it are uh, Geraldton and Perth. I have a food place up there. I have a food place down here. Now, thinking about it, eventually, we could m use these these farms, which I eventually use to feed these. We could make these feed... Hold on. This food plant and these feed the other ones. That would be one hell of a cargo line. But let's not run before we can walk, boys. Let's not run before we can walk. So I think what we'll do is we'll start here... And I'll also start on the opposite side as well, so we can not put all of our eggs into one basket. So, first things first, we're going to go to our road. We're going to go building-wise, and we're going to set up a truck stop. Now, this one is not going to be both sides. We'll keep it simple, but we'll make sure that we've got a plenty amount of um, kind of length to store the goods on board. Let me flip it around this way. Now, I'm going to pull it at the very end, because I'm hoping the further away the transport, they've got to transport it, the more, obviously, we are going to make. So, I'm going to place you there. That was, right, and I'm not joking, a lot of money. A lot of money. Now, I want to create a two-system setup, so we can really maximize the amount of goods that we can distribute. So, we'll place you just there. So we can pick up here, drop off there, then we drive to here and pick up, drop off. Thus, giving both sides enough time to kind of put enough product on the um, the kind of the, the truck station to be able to uh, uh, well load a full load every time. Because I can't not make money. That's what we've got to do. So we'll do the same thing over here. And I'll place this right at the top as well. So throw it directly in. Bam, there we go. So the, the the hope is that these are now far enough away from one another. The furthest points I can do without spending too much cash uh, to maximize the amount of money we can make. Streetwise, uh, this is where it all goes downhill, boys. So we'll try and keep off player ownership as much as we can. But let's be honest, it never really works that way. Now, this is a speed limit of 12. This is a speed limit, this country road, of 25. Let's go for the the 25 speed limit one. So, directly in. Nothing too crazy. You're going to go directly in as well. Nothing too crazy. And then you... If I keep it diagonal, I know it's going to cause pressures and issues on this junction. But it's a way to shorten it as much as we can so we can get there quicker. Right, let's create, then, our very first line. I've already spent half a million. That's scary. Like, very scary. So, new line. So, we pick up here. We drop off. We pick up here. We drop off. And then it will repeat the process again. So, this is all within Portland. So, we're going to call this our Portland... Uh, we, it's grain, isn't it? Grain... Portland Grain. That's literally what we'll just call it. Keep it as simple as you can. We'll change the color to the color of grain, which is that. <laughs> and then we're going to need a vehicle depot. And how much is this going to cost me right now? How much is this going to set me back, boys? So I'll build this. Actually, not too much. Um, I'll build it over here, actually. So build it just there. Oh, it was 10000 over there. Why is it so expensive over here? Ah, it's because it's trying to terraform some land at the same time, isn't it? Well, I might just throw it back over here then because it was a little bit cheaper. Every penny counts, guys. The money I just saved placing it there versus there could be one or two additional vehicles. 
So I haven't pressed play yet, and I'm still really scared to do so. Uh, but we're going to now get some vehicles. So all we have the ability to do is get horse and cart. One stagecoach for passengers. Uh, and then we have the uh, horse-drawn carriage for cargo. Now, it's 23 big ones, this. So I reckon we buy 10. Should we start with 10 and see how we get on? Because it should give us enough money to kind of, you know, get through all of this. Put it all on the Portland grain. And then we press play. And this is where it all begins. Now, the main goal right now is to try and make enough money to pay the bills, pay all for the maintenance, and also pay for my bank loan's interest. That is the goal right now, okay, boys? That is currently the goal. So this is already starting to fill up right now on uh, the sweet, sweet grain. These can only carry four at once, can't they? Yeah. They can only carry four at once, so there should be... We need 40 in total, but there should be enough by the time they've all come in. But we'll keep our eyes peeled on this now, boys. We'll keep our eyes peeled. I'm hoping that each one will walk away completely full. And we're just praying that we can make ends meet. Now, while that's happening, this is also storing the goods on there as well. So I think we're going to be okay. I think it could be a case of where we can just keep continually adding more horse-drawn carts on there. But not too many. You want it to be nicely spaced out so we've got a nice even spread. So keeping our eyes peeled, then, there is a slight little gradient of a hill here. But it's nothing the horse-drawn cart can't match. Which is kind of a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. And now we're going to bring it into here and drop the food off. So let's see how much this now makes in its first journey. Come on, come on, come on. Those horses' legs are going a million miles an hour. It makes six grand. Oh, that's huge. That is actually huge for us right now. So six grand a pot. That's from there to there. I'm not sure how much it will make going from there to there, but we'll see. We will see. So that is music to my ears right now. That is currently music to my ears. Uh, new cargo demand in Perth. Wait, what? Is Perth now demanding new cargo? It, it is. It's now demanding a third object or third cargo piece. Interesting. Very interesting, boys. Very interesting. So, it's doing what it's got to do. It's making me money, hopefully. We'll check it in just a moment. Um, last horse heart thing is coming out of there. The first one's entering there, so we might have a nice spread right now between the ten vehicles. And hopefully we'll just keep upgrading them as time goes on. So, this one's here picking up for the first time. I just want to see how much this now makes going back. So, where a 4-1 over here makes, going from the first, um, kind of farm, 6,615. I'm really interested to see how much this one's going to make. Look at your boy right now. Is that the, the, the most well-dressed delivery driver in all the lands right now? He is. Look at him. Look at him right now. We need, we need to think of Australian jokes. What do we, do we call him Bruce? Is his name Bruce? Good day, mate. <laughs> right, I'm not going to go down the, the, the Australian stereotypes. I'm not going to go down it. I'm not going to go down that road. Right, not a huge fan of that gradient, but eventually it will be not be noticeable when um, we have um, better vehicles. But it's not too much that it causes an, an, an issue. So 6,615 is what we made from one place. What do we make from this one? It's, oh, 6,188. So it's not too far off then being very similar. We will take it. So, how much are we now making? Well, we're currently losing, or we lost, 10 grand on the road. But we're now into a brand new year, so we'll see how we get on. We are currently spending quite a bit. Uh, maintenance of roads. I'm sure I didn't... I turned player ownership off on those roads I built. Uh, maintenance of vehicles is pretty... We made 66 big ones, which is not too bad. But it's that loan interest. That's going to eat into us if we don't... Don't... Be careful. So, we're in profit on the road, but we need to make enough profit there to be in profit on our loan interest as well. So, do we add more to the route? Is there room? There is definitely room to add a few more vehicles. So, if I duplicate, let's say, 
four more. That means you then have 14 vehicles on the route. Now, you'd have to obviously make them, you know, or get them spaced out as best as you can. But that could work for us. That could work. Now, something I can do to begin with is, is start to make this deliver product. And I can get it to deliver it to Portland. It's the closest one where it's not that far away. It's not that far away that it will be much of an issue. But it could also maybe circle up and pick up some goods and bring it back. But I think that will be a little bit too much right now. Solely because I'm going to have to build another depot down. And I don't want to do that. Because the best thing about this is I only have to now spend money on buying the vehicle. Because this is 1100 to drop the truck unload stop down. So if I just drop that there. And I just need to add an extension onto this. Which it shouldn't be that much money. So if I build one, two, and three. So kind of even it out. All I've then got to do, right, is create another new line from there to there. Now, it's on the opposite side, which is perfect. We'll change it to orange so you can see the differences between the two lines. And all this is going to do is deliver food down there. The food that we produce will deliver it down to Portland. So Portland uh, food. There we go. Nice and simple. Now, it is quite a long journey. Straightforwards like that, but it has got to bat around slightly. Um, the road is technically busy anyway, but it shouldn't be too much that it will be an issue. So I reckon we'll get four vehicles for a hundred grand, and then see how we get on with that. So this is everything I'm doing right now to try and make us money. Right now, we're not making cash. We're not making cash. But, oh, well, actually, you could argue we are. With the profit and the loan, forget the investments, because that's something that I've just spent myself. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that gradient. But it's not, it's not bad. It's not too bad, anyway. It's not too bad. But when I start seeing food being produced from this factory... So I have a feeling there's not going to be too much it can create first on the first time round. That's now picking up two. It's only got two on board, so you're not going to see huge amounts of money being made. But we only get four delivered at a time. Four make... Well, two make one, which means every time a truck drops off there, it makes two food. So by the time they come back, we should have a nice big stack of food on here. Right, which is the one that's carrying food? You're carrying food. So this is the one we need to watch. So we'll know when it drops off here, we'll know how much it's going to make. All we got to do is double it. <laughs> now, I could make this kind of stop into here and pick up some food to take back as well, or some grain. Because it, it's going to lose money heading backwards. It's just a way to kind of maximize it a bit more, isn't it? There's a lot there. Maybe that's what we should do. But I'll need to implement an additional street access to do so. Right, let's first see how much it makes just dropping off. Oh, look at that hill. Look at that little hill there. It's got to go up. Right, the gradient there is going to be a little bit tough for these horses. It's only got two horsepower, boys. Do you want to know how I know? It's got two horses. <laughs> two miles an hour. That's, 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 that's rough. That is rough. But, um, yeah, we'll see what this now does. So we're almost there. Horse is coming down right now. The legs are moving so fast. And it makes 3,900. So call it four grand, it'll make eight grand. But now it loses money going back. So it would be nice if we can get it to stop off here. So if I customize this and add an additional street access. So if I pull it on the end bit here. And all I'm going to do is get our street. And I can even connect it to there. Then it's just, but then it's got to go round and come down. So I might just keep it simple. This is... Okay, the gradient doesn't seem that bad here. So if I bend it down like that into there. Like to there. And then go straight in. Right, so. I'm then... So without having to build the additional section there, 
right? We'll keep it simple and let them utilize this. They'll, they'll come in, they'll drive around there, then loop back around. That's pretty much what they'll do. So that route, we're going to add after, is it mill lane yet? We're going to add a stop here. So it will kind of come in, pick up, turn around and go back out. So the only time that that line makes no money is when it goes from here to there. And it also enables me to deliver more grain. See, boys? It's all about trying to maximize the cash right now. It's all about trying to maximize the cash. Now, you could argue, well, when when this drops that to there, well, you pick up some food to make this go down to deliver there and then go back up, pick up in there. I could do that, but we don't produce enough food, then wagons will be empty. So I won't go down that road. Right, horse and cart coming in, boys. Horse and carts coming in. So we really need this right now to actually do well and make us money. We actually really need to do really well. That horse and cart is just completely ignored. Will you do it? Yes. I think because it was already destined to go over there before I could do anything about it. So at least it's picking some goods up and it will now make some sweet, sweet money. So I reckon we give that a minute or two just for them to do what they've got to do and we'll see what happens. Now, food-wise, there's 13 currently stored here. There's not really that much, is there? Not really that much. I worry about the backlog of vehicles coming in there. But then again, it only makes two every truck. Hence why we're bringing more back. We're just going to try and maximize as much as we can. Right, deliveries, baby. Deliveries. Wait, how many that? Wait. How many of them got on board? Four. They disappear super quick. I've just noticed that. Watch this. Bam, one. <laughs> what are we getting there? we got 16 ready to be taken away. Here comes our first truck right now. So they'll drop off. Pick up the four. Off they go. Yeah, boys. This is a system right now. This is a system. So you could argue we're now technically making more than our loan interest. So by that logic, right, we're now making more money than we're spending on those simple routes. Great stuff. We can now breathe a little bit easy, but the money we're making is not huge amounts of money. <laughs> so it's going to take a while before we can start forwarding trains. But that's a good sign. Now, there's no point in me doing an additional food route anywhere else to another town or city because this doesn't produce enough just yet. It just doesn't produce enough. Uh, we got a vehicle already on the way down right now delivering that food. Let's see how much it actually now um, fully makes. So I'm not too sure then what will be the most profitable line out of them two. The one that's got 14 on or the one that delivers food and grain long distance. That would be interesting to know. 7,900. I will take that. So those lines then. Eh? It's the grain one. By a long shot. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding right now? Right, that's really good. I feel like we've done a pretty good start then. We're in profit on the year, which shows us that we now have the flexibility to build a new line. And this line here will pay for it. So, now we've got all this stimulated over there. Portland is gonna maybe start to see some growth coming in we will take a look at doing the exact same thing down here now the benefit that we've got here is that uh, there's two towns again Geraldton and Perth like we got over there but we're only really gonna feed one town but it's a longer distance now the issue we've got is it's a longer distance from the food factories to the town but it's a shorter distance for the food to the factory. So, yeah. That's going to be an interesting one. Now, what I could do is flip it on its head slightly. I could say these two feed you. So you got a bit of distance between them back and forth. That's how we make the money. And then if we make you feed Perth... So it'll pick up there on the way back. Then on the way to go pick up some more, I can make it divert through here, pick up some some grain, and drop it off there. 
So it's the exact same setup that we got over in uh, near near Portland and near Melbourne, uh, but the difference is we've got three on the go because this will be the third one that we utilize. Now this one's going to be a lot more expensive because of the distance, but it also should make us a lot more money as well. So, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, let's do it boys. Let's do this. This is gonna be crazy. This one's gonna be a crazy one right now So let's start over here then Let's initially start over here now We're gonna try and make it all run on the same road. It saves me from them building multiple roads Again, it's where I can save as much money as possible um, Is there a bend involved here? I mean there would be but it would be very very difficult We'll do that. 32,000. It is what it is. It is what it is. Now, we will get the road buildings down. So we need... To be honest with you, I can actually just build one. And combine it with the two. Yeah. Makes life so much easier. That does make life easier for us. So build you there. But what I'll do is I'll do two platforms because the amount of vehicles that we have, if I do two and then do two loops back and forth, eventually they'll they'll be split. That's the wrong one, by the way. They'll be split between the two platforms, meaning we can load two vehicles at once rather than one at a time. It is a little bit more expensive, but it'll work out in the long run. Right, I've saved 10 grand by just putting it a little bit closer. So that's great stuff there. Now we'll do the same thing over here. And we'll put it all the way down here. But we'll get two. One for dropping off. One for picking up the food is important. And then put you there. So I spent 400 grand just solely on the uh, truck stations. I know, crazy. Absolutely crazy. So now streets, we need to make this pretty much go in a straight line. Now I find if you build in small sections over rough terrain, it's cheaper. But the only downside is you feel every nook and cranny, every bump. Which means the vehicles have to go up large inclines and stuff like that. Go to there. And if I just cut cross like this. So you, you hit every bump. Some of them big, some of them small. But you do save quite a lot of money in the long run. Now what I'll do is I'll get you connected down to there. That's it. Look how much money that is to get it connected. So we'll go nice and cheap. To there. And in. That definitely saved us a few pennies, but that is one hell of a hill. <laughs> and it really is one hell of a hill. Now, if I was to go from here to here, which would be super expensive, but if I do that, that's a tunnel I don't want it to do. Ooh, okay. Right, we are going to have to spend a little bit of cash here for the gradient. It's not pretty, but it's what we've got to do. All right. There we go. So that leaves me with 60 grand. I told you this was going to be expensive. But all I now need to buy is the truck unload stop here. So we've got to place it in an area of food. So... Around there is two areas of food. We'll drop it there. Oh, look at how busy it is around here. So maybe I just go here instead. I drop it there. There we go. That will work. And then a road depot, because I can't expect them to drive all the way down here. I'd just be losing money. Like, a lot of money. So we ain't going to go down that road. I get it. And where can I put this? That will be super cheap. I'll just put it there to save a little bit of it. Pain and issues. Right, so the only saving grace is the vehicles aren't that expensive. But they still can be quite expensive. 
So, oh, I've got to put the one there as well. Okay, we won't focus on that one just yet. So new line, there to there, and then there to there. Now, the reason I do it twice is because the second time it comes up, it will use the other platform. So eventually when the vehicles are all staggered out, I'll be then be able to unload and load two vehicles at once. That's the, the reason behind that. So this is going to be... Now, I know it's classing itself as Geraldton and Albany, but I'm going to call it the Perf Green. Perf Green. Now, in the future, this will all be deleted and replaced via trains. <laughs> but we've got to be able to make enough money to get to that point. And that's going to be the difficult bit. So how many vehicles could we buy? Now, this is a longer route, so we should expect to make more money. And I can only afford two. <laughs> Three. Right. Is it possible to get 95 grand? <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to buy four. But I am losing money for not having any vehicles anyway. So what I'll do, I'll buy one, okay? We'll buy one, and what that will do for us is... It will then stimulate these two farms to start putting product on this depot. Or a, a station. So by the time I buy all the other ones, there'll be loads of food here to collect from the get-go. So they'll be making money instantly. Now this is already filled to the brim. It's got a couple of humps and bumps it's got to go over, which will definitely slow it down. But we'll check it out in just a moment to see how much it actually makes. Now is life down here still okay? Are you guys still okay down here? Are we still picking up? Yeah, I think we still pick it up. Um, is there lots of food to pick up? Yes. Okay, this is all good. As long as there's an abundance of products. I don't mind if I, you know, lose products on there because they're sitting there too long. I don't mind it. But as long as we've got more than we need or more than we can carry, we know we've maxing out every vehicle. Right, we're only now just coming down to the crossroads, boys. Look at these roads anyway. These roads look pretty cool, don't they? Now, this is where it's going to take some time. Now, like I said, the only reason we're going through here is because we're going to have a stop there. And that stop will be for when we deliver food to Perth. When we're going back, we'll pick up some and deliver it there. It won't make much money, but it's extra money. And then extra grain for extra food to be created. Seniac's Brig Brain Logic. They are some hills though, aren't they? Once we've got a bit more cash, we'll try and flatten them out a little bit and make them a lot smoother. This is a nice little farm here, isn't it, boys? Yes. Now, this is a big one. It will reduce down to, like, two miles an hour. But like I said, I can't afford to flatten it out, unfortunately. Just can't afford to do it. So I just want to know how much it makes. That's all I want to know. I just want to know how much it makes, and then we'll start buying some more vehicles. Up and over. Do you know what I might do, actually, is buy two more. Earth green. Just get them slowly going in the background. And uh, we're just going to wait. So it's, it will be coming round the mountain when it comes. <laughs> Do you reckon, boys? Do you reckon I'm in for a tough series on this one? Once we get it right, we will make so much cash because of the distances that we can travel the products in. But public transportation is going to be difficult. It really is going to be difficult. Right, how much does this make? 15 grand. Yes. Please. <laughs> but the downside is it's got a long distance to now travel. 15 grand. Did you see that, guys? Did you legit see that right now? Manage the vehicle. Can I duplicate it? No, not enough money, Sonny. Not enough money. Right, hold on. I'm waiting. Duplicate another one. Duplicate another one. So we're going to get quite a few vehicles on this one. I won't build that line going down to here just yet. Not yet anyway. So we're, we're doing good. 
It's a long process right now, a very long process. So forget the perf grain, because it will be losing money. Let me just do it by balance. Um, this is a 100k line. Easily. Just depends on when you're watching it, when it's dropping off the goods. I'm just going to make sure it's still got food on board, which it has. Uh, the food one's making money as well, which is pretty good. Love the fact that it also picks up and takes back. You could probably add an additional vehicle or two on that line as well. But eventually, we're about to upgrade the vehicles, which just carry more in general. So let's not get a bit too carried away with that. This through person plant, um, it m eventually it probably will level up, but the frequency is not high enough at the moment for it to do that. And it's just a case of making sure that we can now make this line. Where's it gone? It, it, Australia is just way too big. It's just a case of making sure that this line, we can make this line make money. So we're about to have two vehicles on the way down right now. Drop this off. That will be 30 grand for us. That's another vehicle. But because we're in this weird process right now, where we're now also trying to pay for this line, it does get expensive. But I'm expecting the money to go dramatically up right now on this line. And as soon as I can kind of flatten out these slopes, the better. Right, let's get ready to buy two more for 47,000. That's what we're hoping for anyway. We got 18,000 in the bank. Right, I can buy one. Okay, maybe I can't buy one. Oh my goodness me, I'm poor. Right, can buy one. Send this directly out on Perth Grain. Buy another one. Oh, I just missed it. I just missed buying a second one. Oh, snap. But that's it. That's that's the look of the draw, boys. That is the look of the... There we go, buy it. <laughs> That is the look of the draw. But we are getting more vehicles on these routes right now, and it's going to make 15 grand a pop. This could... Watch this line, boys. Watch this line, because this could be a big money maker at the minute. It is going to be a big money maker. Both sides of the uh, station are absolutely full to the brim. So we're now in this weird stage where I'm spending money to grow the company, but I'm spending all the profits, so it's going to consistently feel like we are in debt, but we're not in debt. I just keep spending the profit and then keeping us as low as we can down to those minimal numbers. Right, Portland, are you seeing a growth now? Not yet. You're not enjoying the food that I'm delivering to you? That succulent... What's that Australian dude? That succulent Chinese meal? <laughs> Do you know that meme, guys? Come on, someone knows it. Oh, just look out for the amount of Australian stuff I say throughout this series. It's going to be crazy. But while that does what it's got to do then, while it does make a few little pennies, eventually we need to figure out building a large cross-country railway. Now don't discount planes, they will be also be important, and ships as well. But could you imagine if I made the farms here feed the factories there, and the farms here feed the factories over there? The money you would get going back and forth on long distance trains would be crazy. But then building up the populations on both sides and then you transporting them via high speed rail. I mean when I did my UK series, I couldn't really utilize high speed rail for what it what it's you know good for. Because the place is too small. The stops were too frequent. Here, the stops are not frequent. <laughs> they are not, boys. They are not. So it is gonna be quite interesting. It is going to be very, 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 very interesting. So what we need to focus on is just getting these two food routes, these two food lines all up and running. And then once they're starting to make consistent amount of money, enough for me to build small rail lines, I then need to kind of make little kind of money grinders. So I already spotted a little money grinder here. You could kind of set up a little train line that goes back and forth there. Or back and forth from here to there. A little bit longer that way, isn't it? Uh, and that's a way to kind of grind out a little bit of money over and over. That's how you got to look at it. That is how you're going to have to look at it. But um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Right, we got more money to buy more trucks or vehicles or horse and carts. We actually buy two more. Perf grain. Now, this is literally all it's going to be. It's literally all it's going to be. You make some money, 
you buy some more vehicles. You make some money, you buy some more vehicles. And we just gotta try and increase the frequency. It's currently at five minutes on this perf grain. We gotta try and reduce it as much as we can. But it will do. It will come with time. It will definitely come with time. It will definitely come with time, boys. Oh, I just realized a huge mountain on Perf. Is Perf like this in real life? Is it surrounded by a mountain? Oh, look at the traffic as well. See, this is the other fun we're going to have as well, is traffic management. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody wants to drive down this road, but when you think about how long that road is to the next town, horse and carts will not go that far. So it can make complete sense. It makes complete sense right now. It really does. It really does. So, are we still okay? Is the main thing. Now, if you don't include my investments of 50 grand, right, we still made a profit. Nearly 100k in income, 19k in our loan. Well, I say income, it's actually profit from our road network. Look at how much profit we made from our road network. Over a quarter of a million. So, we're definitely making money. We've definitely had a good start. We ain't going to go bankrupt anytime soon. It just depends on, on what I build next. I've just got to remember, when I build a new line, it has to be financially supported by my current lines until that line is making money. I just have to remind myself that. I just have to remind myself that. Right. More vehicles stopping off. I'm hoping we are able to maybe squeeze a few more pennies into buying an extra vehicle or two. Could I be so, so gloriously blessed with buying two? We'll buy one to begin with. It's such a long line, but it is going to be an absolute money maker for us. It really is. So the lines in general now, right now, the Perth grain has overtaken the Portland food, and that will just keep going up. If this had the same amount of vehicles, it would overtake the Portland grain. And there's three vehicles about to stop off for it as well. Very good, boys. Very good. So, how would we expand this then? I think once we've got this situated a little bit better and we've fine-tuned it a bit more, and then we've got the one actually then delivering food to, uh, to, to Perth, which, to be honest with you, I should be really focusing on trying to get that sorted now, shouldn't I? I'm not a fan of all this traffic, though. I might kind of build my own connecting road there. So I can bypass all that and then go to there and then go straight back out. We'll see what happens on that. But I also need to create the station as well, which is also going to be quite expensive. Now, if I was to go truck station, I only want one on one side. And I've got to, I've got to pick the best side as well. The side with the least terraforming. That's the issue, isn't it? It's the side of the least amount of terraforming. I'm just wondering if I can do it up the hill because it's still technically connected. Right, okay, I've discovered what I can do. I can build it that way for a little bit cheaper. Or maybe not. We'll just kind of build it like that. But it's so expensive, though. It is so expensive. Right, those lines. Perf is still going up with the grains. With the grains money. Still making money. What I like to see. We just need to up the frequency on that. That is the only downside to it. So, can we maybe squeeze a few pennies to where I can complete the food line going to Perf? But even if I did... Can I afford a vehicle on it? Is then the next question. I think the answer is no. Now, we lost money on the previous year, but that's because we had a 71 grand in investments I spent. So I think what I should just mainly focus on is just buying more vehicles for the Perth Grain line. There we go. Free vehicles. Perth Grain. So, we're only two vehicles away from having the same amount of vehicles as the Portland line. We're only two vehicles away from doing that. Oh, that's sake, can I buy another one then? I almost was able to buy another one. I can buy another one. 
Just got to keep on top of it, boys. I'm now one vehicle away. Now, we are reducing the frequency. The frequency was five minutes. It's now three minutes on that frequency. Which is good. Means every three minutes we're making money, if you want to argue it like that. Even though sometimes two vehicles go at once. But we'll take it. We will take it, boys. I want to try and get one more vehicle so they've got the same on both lines. And if I can add a few more to the Portland food line, that would be glorious. Now, there's no vehicles on the way down just yet, so we're in that awkward stage of now having to wait. And boy, oh boy, are we going to have to wait. We really are. Where is it? I forget. This map is huge. That's all I can say right now. It's absolutely huge. Right, a few vehicles stopping off here. But are they enough to make me money? Not to buy another vehicle, no. We're in that weird stage where the staggered um, Perth grain line right now. Because all my vehicles are here going down. So you're in this weird moment where you're just like barely making money barely staying afloat and then you will have like nearly a, like a hundred grand just get dropped off in one go oh there we go right i now have the same amount of vehicles on the perf line as i do the portland line very good so the perf grain looks like it's now losing or not making as much money but there's about to be one two three four five six seven vehicles all about to stop off in one go and when they do, it's nearly a hundred big ones, boys. It's nearly a hundred big ones. I think it might be a hundred and five thousand in total. All right, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. So, let's wait for all these to come in. Because these will buy me an extra vehicle or two for my Portland food run. But then again, it could also pay for this line to get the food delivered to Perth. So there's also that side of it as well. But here we go, boys. Are we, are we, how are we doing right now? So we're technically losing money still, but that's because of our investments. But money is about to come in in abundances. Another 15 grand. Wait, did you not drop anything off? Or did I just miss that one? I think I might have missed that one. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, it does come down here twice, doesn't it? So, when I spread that out on that one as well, so we can unload two at once, that'll make a huge difference. Look at that, 100 grand now in the bank. So with that, I will buy an additional vehicle that delivers food from here down to Portland. Because there seems to be a lot of food here anyway. Manage vehicles. We're going to duplicate one. So we just got an additional vehicle on that line. Be a big help for us. And I think now then, all we've got to do is save up the funds, the monies, to be... Where am I? We're down here, boys. I'm completely lost all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. So we can either buy more vehicles for this line or wait until they're higher capacity. Oh, new vehicle, a new train. We're not on trains yet. But I've got to get this Perth food line set up. Now, do you think I should maybe build this street before they start building more buildings around here? I'm going to do that investment there. Because it's, I'm going to have to utilize that road to drive down. It's a reason I put the stop on this side. So they're coming this way there and go out. So they haven't got to wait in the traffic. But I don't know how busy this road's going to become. I honestly don't know. I don't have enough money to kind of build a bridge over to there. Which is what I probably should eventually do. Yeah. But just easing the burdens of the traffics in general anyway. Ease the burdens. And we're going to need... 
about 150 grand. 150 grand to build the thing just there. Hasn't going to be huge. It hasn't going to be free. Like what I'm doing here. I can do like a 10 meter platform and it'd be a lot cheaper. I could just do that and then like extend it as I need to go along. New line. Bam. Wah bam. Right, only goes there and then straight back out. So it completely avoids all that area, which is perfect. And then this is our perf food. There we go. There we go. No, Seniac. I've done it wrong. <laughs> Let me delete that. Let me delete that. I'm an absolute idiot. It's got to go from here to there. But on the way back... It picks up some grain to deliver there. So the only time that line doesn't make money is when it goes from here to there. I'm such an idiot, guys. I'm such an idiot sandwich. Right. We got there at the end. Can we at least buy one vehicle for this line? That is what I would like, is to at least buy one vehicle for this line. I don't know if I'll be blessed anytime soon. There is a vehicle going in which will make 15 grand. But my expenses are so high. They're so high. Oh, that road that I built is now upgraded. Nice. So there's money there, but there's not enough money for me. I don't want to get any additional loans because it will increase my outgoings. Could we see it? Could we have a concern with this here? Mm. Keep our eyes peeled on that. Keep our eyes peeled. Now we got another vehicle heading in, which will give me another 15 grand. So we're kind of hoping that the lines in the distance over in Portland are adequate enough. Because I feel like my money's not increasing, or unless we're in this weird stage. We... <sighs> no, the, the expense. The... Okay, we d we're technically not making as much money. I think it's just then down to the fact that when you get that frequency of all those vehicles coming in at once. But I'm about to say, our expenses haven't increased because the loan's the same. The maintenance of our stuff will increase as we get more and more vehicles. But I got a weird, weird stage right now. Well, there we go. Okay, I just want one just so I can get it to per food. So I can get this factory one to start making food. This to start dropping off the grain here. So we can start recuperating and paying those bills. Now that's a long line. That is a long line. So it will take some time. You're not going to put any grain here? It's one of those ones where you're going to have to up the transport numbers as well before you start seeing a huge difference. But a uh, few vehicles now coming in. Uh, we are starting to see now food being produced over here. And you could argue, boys, we just need more vehicles on the Perth Grain. So can I get four more vehicles? Bam, we can. On the Perth Grain. Because we got to make sure that we kind of fill the little gap. There's a big gap there in the line. It says add more to it. So right now then, I've got four lines. Obviously the food perf one is not making any money just yet, but eventually it will make some money. We will eventually get it to that point where it does. Um, the other lines are doing pretty good right now. Our most profitable one looks like it is the Portland Grain, but the perf Grain is going to take over now with these four new vehicles. It really is. Uh, we're making money in general. Forget the expenses of the investments that I've done. The money coming in. Or the profit from the road network, because obviously when I drop it down, there's a lot more going on that meets the eye. The profit from the node, uh, road network pays our loan investment, which is 20 grand a year. And what I spend in investments is just completely down to me. So, we're going to end it here. I feel like that's a really, really good start. We've got a couple of industries set up, and we're at least feeding two towns to begin with. But it's enough right now that will give me a little bit of profit that I can keep expanding upon them. But the sooner I can build a kind of decently grindy train line 
That's when the money is going to go from a couple of thousand to hundreds of thousands a journey. But to build a train line is going to take quite a bit of money. Right, new cargo demand in Perth. Wait, what's going on in Perth right now? Perth seems to be expanding twice as much. It says new, new product is that goods, but they already have the goods. So what are you talking about, Perth? What are you talking about right now? <laughs> it's having a moment, isn't it? It's having a moment. Um, right. We'll see how we get on, boys. We will see how we get... This food has been picked up. Has one of these containing food? Oh, you! you there's the food route, boys. There's the food route. So we'll see how much that makes next episode, boys. Uh, if you did enjoy it, smash that like button down below. If you want to see this series continue as we build this vast transportation network in Australia, then smash the like button, subscribe if you are new, and until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good.